everyone at 1995 here in the video game fanfiction plot with a new chapter for you all of Rock of Steel I do hope you enjoy it and remember I do not own the Transformers Prime series or any music within this video and I give full credit to its author Haley Moss on Wattpad, Chapter 8 Predatory. LPOV Ok today was the day I had to apologize, I want looking forward to the faces that I will have to face. I got on some jean shorts that went to just above my knees, a blue tank top with a short sleeved blue and white plaid shirt, with my high top blue and red DCs. I grabbed my school bag, walked out my bedroom knocked on Maiko's bedroom door and yelled min Maiko or you'll be late. Hey I'm coming alright. Maiko said. I walked down the stairs into the kitchen to get a Gatorade and two fruit bars. I walked outside to see not Magnus but B. Oh he must be really mad at me. B opened his driver's door and I got in. Hey uh. Raf said hi Raf. I said. I buckled up and we went on our way to school. He's really mad at me isn't he B? I asked. He was just worried about your safety but he's not here because Ratchet was giving him an upgrade. B said. Oh okay. I said. That made me feel better. Once we got to school both Raf and I said bye. We walked up to the school doors and went off to our first class. I felt my phone vibrate in my pocket. I opened the text it was from Magnus. Magnus I'm sorry for not being able to pick you up this morning, and I will be a little late also. Ellie it's okay I like riding with B sometimes and okay I will just walk home and you can pick me up there. Magnus okay I will see you then. Ellie okay. It was defiantly an awkward convo for me. I went on through the day thinking about Magnus. I still had feeling for him that I was unsure about. I need to figure this out and quickly before I hurt myself. Finally the school bell rang. I went to my locker and got out my science and math homework. I hate math, I always need Raf's help with it. I got my stuff and walked out of the school towards my house. I only lived about three blocks from the school thankfully. Which me being on the cross country team it doesn't bother me at all. I was walking by an alleyway when someone grabbed me and slammed me into a wall. I hit my head and my vision went blurry for a second. When my vision came to I saw a man about his thirties with lust in his eyes. Pervert. Get your hands off me. I yelled as I kicked him where the sun don't shine. While he was hunched over I made a break for it. But I went fast enough he slammed my whole body into the wall this time. Ouch. Then he punched me in the stomach and face. I could feel blood drip down from my mouth. I felt so heavy I couldn't even moved his hands away that were now feeling me up. I was going to get raped. I didn't want that, I really tried to fight back. But it was like my arms didn't have any strength left in them and neither did the rest of my body. I felt my vision starting to black. I then heard skin against skin. I pried my eyes open to see a teenage guy punch the 30 year old down to the ground and knocked him out. I got a good look at the teen he had black short hair with blue and red tips, with bright blue eyes just like Magnus. He was wearing dark blue jeans with red Nike shocks and a red shirt in a blue jacket. I felt him put his hands on either side of my face and say Ella look at me, stay with me Ella. I felt my eyes closing all by themselves, but his voice sounded like Magnus's voice. I was going to ask but all I saw was darkness. Ultra Magnus POV I was on my way to Ella's house when I saw a man in an alley trying to touch her with her not fighting back. I stopped myself in my new holoform that Ratchet upgraded me with this morning got out and ran over. I pushed the man away from Ella and punched him so hard knocking him to the ground I ran back over to Ella and put my hands on the side of her face. Ella look at me, stay with me Ella. I told her. But I could tell she wasn't going to stay awake. I picked her up one arm went under her legs and the other behind her back. Her head lolled to the side of my arm. Blood dripped onto my arm from the back of her head and her lips were swollen and bleed. I can see why she didn't have to strength to fight back after a hit like that. I put her into the cab part of myself. I then got into my driver's seat and let my holoform disappear. I come the base, Ratchet Ultra Magnus to base are you there? Ratchet here what's the matter Ultra Magnus you sound worried, 
I am Ella was attacked by an older male and was hit hard, her head is bleed and she isn't waking, I will prepare a Sigwabi, commander out. I drove to the base in recon time. I made my holoform reappear and picked Helen up the way I had earlier. Ratchet gasped then lowered his hand, I put Ella in his hands. I then let my holoform disappear and transformed. I followed Ratchet. I didn't see anyone else here but Optimus. What happened Ultra Magnus? Optimus asked. She was attacked and being touched without her permission by an older male. I told him. It is good that you reached her in time because she would be more injured physical and mentally if you hadn't. Ratchet said. He patched up her head and told me to put an ice pack on her lips. Think Primus I had gotten there in time. When I saw he had his hands on her my eyes saw red. I know I shouldn't be having these feelings towards Ella because she is human, and I'm basically a giant robot to her. All taught I do like the holoform that Ratchet gave me. It could maybe work between us. She may not even have the same feelings for me as I do for her. I've seen the way she acts when Wheeljack is around. He's rebellious, and sometimes she is too. It's too soon to tell her of the feelings that I'm feeling. Ella POV I woke up feeling groggy and with my head slightly hurt, but other than that I was okay. Will I tried to get up and realized my whole body was somewhat sore. I looked around I was back at base, I saw Magnus sitting down beside me asleep. Oh he's so cute when he's asleep. I recalled what happened and almost happened. The guy that saved me resembled Magnus but human. I swung my legs off the hospital bed that I was on and slowly walked down the hallway. I pulled my phone out of my pocket. It was 6 p.m. good I still had time to apologize. I walked till I saw Optimus's birth room he was sitting at a desk. I walked in and tapped on one of his pedes. He stopped what he was doing and looked down at me. Hello Ella how are you feeling? Optimus asked. I am better considering what almost happened. He nodded. Optimus I want to formally apologize for last night and breaking the rules. I didn't understand the reason that racing was against the rules, but now I do and I'm so sorry. I apologized. I figured he was going to yell at me but to my surprise he just smiled. Ellie it is alright, I'm glad that you learned your lesson. All is good. Optimus said. Think Optimus, do you know where Wheeljack is? I asked. He is out with the others. He should be back soon though. Optimus. Okay thanks. I said. I walked back down to the med bay to find Magnus waking up. His eyes were worried when he didn't see me laying there. Magnus I'm alright I'm here. I told him. He relaxed and laid his hand on the ground for me to step on. Magnus I wanted to apologize for last night, I shouldn't have broke the rules especially knowing that you always follow the rules, I should. I'm really sorry and don't blame Wheeljack I asked him to come along. Ella you don't have to worry I'm not mad anymore I'm just glad you're safe, and safe from what almost happened today. Magnus said. Do you know who that guy was? That saved me, he kinda looked like you but human. I asked. It was me, that was the upgrade that I got it was a holoform. Magnus said. Can I see? I asked. He lowered me to the ground then his holoform appeared. Wow he was hot. I poked my finger on his cheek, he just looked at me weird. I then lifted up his shirt, yup he real he has a belly button. I started to blush though when I saw the six pack that he was packing and the V. Oh the V is so sexy on a guy. I put his shirt down and said I had to make sure you were real, if you had a belly button I knew you were actually real. I told him. He just kind of smiled. Dot too. I was touching and poking Mangus's holoform when I heard the others pull up without my go, Jack or Raph. I guess they all had to go home for dinner. Which means if my go is gone then I'm late teak. Magnus I have to go home, Wheeljack would you mind taking me home I have to talk to you. I said to Magnus and Wheeljack. Wheeljack opened his driver's door for me and I hoped in. I buckled up and we were already driving out of the base. Wheeljack I wanted to apologize for getting you into trouble last night. I shouldn't have asked you to come along. I told him. Kid it's okay it was the funnest thing you've done since I landed on this rock. Wheeljack said. 
I really like the fact that you're a rebel and you don't care about what people think about you. I wish Magnus would break the rules at least once. I said and kinda laughed, knowing that's not going to happen. Who knows maybe he will, he's kind of different since he met you. He would have already peeled my paint by now from the stunt I pulled with you last night. What did you say to him anyways? Wheeljack said and asked. I looked at his radio where it made his face and said I told him not to blame you because I was the one to ask you to go. Well I guess that caused him not to beat me. Wheeljack stated while he laughed. I laughed too. Soon we arrived at my house. I got out and patted the hood of Wheeljack and went into the house. I walked into the kitchen to fix me something to eat when I heard someone said Ella are boys letting you drive their cars? Oh dad. Yes dad I said. Do you have a boyfriend or several? He asked. I couldn't help it I laughed. No dad they're guys but they're just my friends, no worries okay? I said. Okay good cause I'm not ready for my baby girl to go on dates just yet. Dad said. Dad I'm gonna grow up sometime but I'll always be your baby girl. I told him. He hugged me and I hugged back. I was fixing myself some ramen noodles when dad asked what happened to your head? Oh crap, I might as well tell him. Well I was walking home cause my friend couldn't pick me up today, and I passed an alleyway and a man bout in his thirties grabbed me, I fought him off as best as I could but he slammed me up against the wall. My vision was blurry and he took his chance and started to touch me in a place I'd rather not say and he almost raped me if I hadn't been saved by my friend Matt. I told him. What? Do you remember what the guy looked like? We have to report this. Tomorrow you're coming with me to the station. And I'd like to meet this Matt for saving my baby girl. Dad said. Okay dad. I said. I finished my noodles and went upstairs and took a shower. I got on my PJs and then got into bed. I was about to fall asleep when I heard I got a text. It read from Magnus. Magnus good night Ella. Ella good night Magnus. Magnus what is that? Ella it's a smiley face means happy. Magnus oh. Ella there you go, by the way my dad wants to meet you tomorrow. And also your human name is Matt Mercer.1. Magnus okay, colon 1. Ella bye. Magnus bye. I smiled and fell asleep instantly. Well that's the ending of that chapter, I do hope you enjoy this video if you like to see more remember, to hit that like button subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below until next time.